This is Spencer with the Contractor Chronicles and we're going to show you how to use the compound miter function on your miter box. Here are your standard miter angles which we've shown you how to use with the compound angle set at zero. Now we'll show you how to make use of the compound angle in conjunction with the regular angles. First you need to move this fence out of the way so you loosen it on the back side. When this is loose, you slide this fence out of the way and set it off to the side. And on the back side of your saw, usually there's an adjustment. You'll loosen that and tip the saw down until you reach the angle you want. This application will be at 45 degrees. You tighten it back. As you can see, we're lined up on the 45 degree mark here. Then I will turn this to the angle I want, which is also 45 degrees. Now, this is a more dangerous cut, so you want to make sure, if you are not comfortable with this, that you do not attempt it. You want to make sure you also have a very good grip on your board and it's tight against the fence cut through this slowly so the blade doesn't grab and move the wood. Pull the blade just back of the wood, turn it off when the blade stops, you can reach around, remove the scrap, pull your piece off. Now you can see a compound miter compared to a regular miter on this angle and this angle. These are useful when you're building on an angle this way. You can then have another piece come in from the other side, which will show you how to cut that as well. So we cut this from the left side of the fence. So to match up the opposing side, we will need to cut in from the right side of the fence. Again, if you're not comfortable with this, you have to do this. You can move that over. Now you can see how those two pieces fit together in a nice corner. And that's how you cut a compound miter.